Paganism is a term used to describe a variety of different spiritual and religious beliefs that focus on nature worship and polytheism. Despite being one of the oldest belief systems in the world, it's still widely misunderstood and often misrepresented. Hello and welcome to our video, where we'll be exploring 15 fascinating facts about paganism. Paganism is one of the oldest belief systems in the world with a rich history and diverse range of spiritual practices. However, before we start our countdown, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. So let's get started. 15 Facts About Paganism Fact number 1. Dating back to the Paleolithic Age, animism is considered the world's oldest religion. It would be through the ideas of animism the perception that all things and objects, whether they are a person, flower, or rock, are alive and have a soul that paganism would rise. Fact number two. The use of the word paganism dates back to the fourth century when the early Christians who lived inside the Roman Empire formulated the word as a way to refer to the other people of the empire who practiced polytheism. Fact number three. When Rome turned to Christianity, many tensions between pagans and Christians began growing. But it wasn't until Constantius II came along in 337 that the empire took extreme measures in promoting Christianity and oppressing Roman polytheism. He issued anti-pagan laws that included the death penalty for anyone caught performing a pagan sacrifice and closed all pagan temples. Despite that, during his reign, Many senators were passive about the suppression, and persecution wasn't widespread. Paganism lived on. Fact number four. It wasn't until Theodosius I, under the influence of Ambrose, the Bishop of Milan, came along that pagans were actively persecuted at every level. Under his reign, pagan priests were killed and holy sites destroyed. Theodosius essentially waged war against the pagans. Fact number five. Through his harsh laws against the pagans, Theodosius also banned something we still have today, the Olympics. Yup, the Olympics were originally a pagan ritual. Because of this, Emperor Theodosius decided to suppress them, but he may not have been as successful as he thought. Some archaeologists believe that the games continued despite his ruling, supporting their claims with artifacts that just don't fit Theodosius' story. Fact number six. As Christianity was an urban phenomenon in its beginning, the people that were grouped together as pagans by the Christians were predominantly from the countryside. Midsummer vibes, anyone? Fact number seven. The cult of Bacchus believed ivy to be the symbolic plant of their deity. Bacchus was often depicted wearing a crown of ivy, as it was also a symbol of eternal life. As the god of wine and, well, partying hail Bacchus, early Christians refrained from using ivy inside of their churches. Instead, they only used it as exterior decorations. This tradition still continues in churches today. Fact number eight. In addition to Easter, St. Patrick's Day was also created as a way to replace the pagan festival of Ostara. This means that in current times, when we drink green beer and wear green on St. Patty's Day, we are also celebrating the rebirth of Mother Nature. So ipso facto, getting toasted is kind of religious. Fact number nine. Many pagans worship oak trees because oak was a sacred object to Zeus, the major figure in Greek mythology. In fact, the Celts would only have meetings in the presence of an oak tree. The expression knock on wood actually refers back to the Celts. Like the Greeks, they believed in the good fortune of touching sacred oak trees. Fact number 10. The roots for what we consider paganism go all the way back to various different Greek and Egyptian cultures. Many of their beliefs influenced the Romans and spread throughout the ancient European continent. Fact number 11. The main god of the ancient Finnish pagan religion that dominated Finland and Estonia prior to Christianity was Yuko. While Yuko shared similar traits to Thor, the Norse god, he had some interesting traits of his own. The result of him having intimate time with his wife Akka was thunderstorms, and his sacred animal was the ladybug. In fact, ladybugs were known as Yuko's cow. Fact number 12. Due to the large role of shamanism in their religion, the Finnish pagans were known by their neighbors as wizards. Because of this reputation, Finnish pagans have a strange afterlife. They are often represented as supernatural presences in many Old Norse stories. They were also feared by many of the other Baltic peoples. Fact number 13. It was the Canaanites, though who lived in the ancient Levant, who created what would come to be the modern alphabet. They simplified cuneiform, making it easier to learn and easier to spread around the surrounding regions. It was then adopted by many and evolved and influenced the writing forms of the Mediterranean. It would be the Greek who added vowels to the alphabet, which subsequently influenced the Latin alphabet, and here we are. Fact number 14. It wasn't until the 17th century that the word pagan would become attested in English, 
joining the ranks of pejorative Christian words such as infidel and heretic. Fact number 15. In order to avoid persecution while living in the Roman Empire, early Christians would mimic the pagan tradition of celebrating the winter solstice holiday of Saturnalia. How? Well, one method might be familiar to modern readers. Early Christians would place pagan escrites of holly around their homes. So, this was our today's video. I hope you all liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And also share it with your friends and family. We will be back soon with a new video. Till then, keep supporting and take care.